So our friends from Z-Man did pretty darn well at the 2022 ICAST show. They won best saltwater lure, best terminal tackle. I'm here with C.A. Richardson, and uh, you actually are pretty responsible for the soft plastic win, I think. Yeah, the soft plastic win for Z-Man, uh, Daniel and I worked on this a lot for an idea for a crab that would be appealing to a number of game fish. Now, namely, because of my reputation in shore salt water, redfish. But what we discovered in R&D is it's very successful catching black drum, cobia, speckled trout, snook, even tarpon was eating the swimming crab. It's a little bit different. Now you can bump it along the bottom to make it more appealing to bottom uh, feeding species like redfish. But in most cases, we're rigging this on a chin locks rigging hook and we're just swimming it. And it just swims over the grass, just like you'd see the trailing arm of a crab. And it is amazing you can cover so much water because one of the, the downsides to, to throwing an artificial crab is you gotta fish it so slow and drag it. This one actually swims, you cover a lot of water. That's awesome. And that, like you, CA said, everything eats crabs. Uh, very popular bait. Uh, stripers are pouring over them. We're using sand crabs in the surf. Um, so that's definitely a lure along the weed beds where you're going to see that beautiful swimmer up top. Uh, it's a great bait to be able to throw at some of those uh, striped bass, weak fish, uh, and he said black drum. I can't wait for that. I, I think that they said that one is going to be out in September. We'll September, that. And, so, that, and that'll be great for the fall. Absolutely. That's going to be a great fall bait for us. Uh, another one that was a winner is this piece of terminal tackle here, which is the diesel. These are the diesel jig heads. Thank you. This is one of my favorite types of terminal tackle because it gives you so many options as far as being a power fisherman. One of the problems that we had in the past is the Elastec material has a certain amount of buoyancy, so you have to overcome it, but you can overcome it with a jig head like this. These come in large sizes, and we've got the sizes up here, three quarters, one ounce, ounce and a half, and whatnot, and it allows you to peg a five and seven inch, and sometimes even a 10 inch piece of Elastec on the back of this as a tail, like the Heroes, or the five inch diesel minnows, or the seven inch um, XL uh, jerk shads. And then you can fish these things in deep water situations or current situations where you have lots of flow for species like striper, snook, tarpon, grouper, um, anything like that, blackfish, you're going to catch on this. And I got to tell you, it's, uh, oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Big, Big summer flukes. flounder. And, I mean, you look at that eye, and I think that's one of the things that guys have really migrated to in terms of getting the jig heads and the bucktails. That big magical eye there. Uh, if you've been throwing the diesel minnows, they've been really effective for us back at home on stripers in the back bay. And uh, what's great about Z-Man, you're grabbing the diesel eye, the big jig heads, whatever jig heads you need, and all the plastics, and wherever you travel. CA is talking about west coast of Florida, but you've traveled everywhere. Yes, I, in fact, I just came back from Alabama. I caught my biggest striper in Alabama no in, in the Tallapoosa River. We ended up catching one that was about 30 pounds, over 40 inches long, and that's a big summer striper in a freshwater system like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Now, this this here is another favorite of mine. Yeah. Uh, this is an integrated weighted swim bait. Uh, this is our Hercules minnows, or our Hercules swim bait. It's got a big seven on, I mean serious hook in here. And this is has such a lifelike action. It's It's got UV light um, colors in here. You can see how scaly it looks. It, it is a perfect rendition and it has the perfect swim and roll. So stripers, big trout, uh, redfish, snook, any game fish is going to just, I mean, this is a good bunker imitation, Absolutely. a good shad imitation, a good thread fin imitation. <laughs> and in some colors, it's a good mullet in, imitation. So it does a good job. It's a big fish bait, I can tell you that. Some of the best snook that I've caught here in the last two years have been on the Mercury's bait. So if we get that short mullet run especially, that's a, a fantastic imitation. And one thing, if you've used the Z-Man stuff in the past, yeah. it's just so tough. Uh, it's 10 times tough and, it, and, and, and still yet so soft it gives the, the bait an action even at slow retrieve speeds the thing still swims like crazy. It's awesome stuff. It really is. Look for a lot of this stuff in the fall. Look for your Z-Man stuff, the, the diesel eye jig heads, but look for those monsters coming out this fall as well. You're going to need those this fall. I yeah, think so. Appreciate it, man. Thank Thanks you so much.